Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is the October BAM Box Horror Box. Um, as you can see, they are now on their second box of the Horror Box, actually marking that this is horror. And yeah, it's just a sticker, which is good because um, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to differ differentiate because I get the regular box and I'm getting the Horror Box. So um, one thing to... <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me one thing to say right off the bat I don't look all that good I probably don't sound too good allergies are kicking my ass today Ugh. Um, I know people who have bad allergies can probably really feel me on this so sorry if I sound way stuffed up or if I cough or clear my throat too much during this but I'm gonna try to minimize that and hopefully I don't have to step away and blow my nose because it's been leaking this is what happens when the seasons change Anyway, uh, very excited for this because it is the October Horror Box, so it should be really good. The last one was good. Uh, I enjoyed it, so hopefully this one's even better because it's October. That's the time for horror. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what we got. I uh, Full disclosure, I don't um, yet have my regular horror or uh, regular BAM box, so if you do like to watch those videos when I unbox them... Um, it might actually not end up being for a while now because I'm going to be going on a trip uh, relatively soon and I don't think I'm actually going to get the box before that trip happens. So it might be like an extra week or so before I actually get that one up. So apologies for that. Let's see what goods we got here. And if I can get one-ups, I mean, obviously I'm always excited this for my cat. Uh, always excited for one-ups, whether I get in the regular BAM box or I get it in this horror box. But if I pick getting it in one of them, I want it in the horror box because I'm a huge horror fan. That's my stuff. Two pieces of tissue paper for my cat. She's passed out in the sun over here. That's why I got to leave these blinds open. That's why there's so much sun coming in because cat's soaking it up. Soaking up that sun. The feel. Let's see if I got any. I don't even remember what the properties are for this one. All right, let's get the patch out of the way because I'm not huge on patches, but... All right, a patch for brain scan. If you like brain scan, maybe you'll like this patch. I don't care about patches, so it's what, it's whatever item to me. But for me, if I'm going to get items that I don't really like, at least they're small. So that's fine. I can you know get rid of that easily. All right, next thing is something in a box. I'm assuming this will be their prop replica. Yep. Um, it's from 1408. Okay, well, this makes sense. I have not seen this movie yet. So this is a prop replica. I assume this is the uh, tag and the key for, see if you can see the key. It's like it's metal. It's like nice metal. So I know of this movie. I know it has um, Samuel L. Jackson and John Cusack in it, uh, but it's from the Dolphin Hotel, movie 1408. I mean, it's a good replica. I don't know much about the movie. I haven't heard like really great things about it. So it's kind of weird to me that this would be the prop replica in the October box. I would think that for their second horror box and for it being October, they would go with way more popular uh, properties like brain scan I understand this isn't like super well known but amongst people who are really big horror fans like they know brain scan a lot so uh, but 1408 I hear nothing about 1408 from what I understand it's, eh. so but then again I haven't seen it so um, what I really would want and maybe this will be in the next one or one of the ones coming up uh, if you're going to do a replica key like this do it for room 237 for the Shining. That would have been much better, especially for October. Just saying. Um, so not huge on that. Uh, next thing. Is this like a small autograph? Or, oh, okay. You know, I actually already have one of these because uh, it came in a, I think, horror block when I was doing horror block. So it's a download for um, a book done by What's this guy's name? Joe Chinakis. So this guy's been involved with these for, um, subscription boxes quite a bit. Uh, he did the, the book uh, Rabbit in Red, which I got that book in a horror block. And then I guess he just put out another book called Burn the Rabbit, which I'm assuming is in the same series. So this is 
kind of a promo for it, and it also has uh, digital downloads for the books, which is cool um, if you want to read them. And then he also autographed the, as you can see down here, autographed this little thing. So that's all right. Um, I hope they're not counting that as the autograph for this box because that would be super weak, but that's fine. I mean, I'm not big into like reading online except for my comics, uh, but I'd rather have like a physical book, but this is good because I mean, this is the way technology is going. That's fine. And I'm all for them encouraging people to read. All right. So next thing, I don't think I got a one up. Okay. I don't feel a one up, but pin. Oh yes. Oh, so much awesome. I love this. This is great. Um, so for the pin, I'm, I love pins in general, like well-made pins and Bambox makes like awesome ass pins. I'm having so much trouble with this. And I also love this movie. This movie's amazing. I just referenced this movie while I was talking right now. The Shining. It's Jack Torrance from The Shining. That's awesome. Jack Nicholson did an amazing job as Jack Torrance in The Shining. If you haven't seen The Shining, you must see The Shining if you like horror stuff because it's un friggin' believable. That's a great pin. Love it. Awesome. Anything Shining, I'm going to be happy pretty much. All right, this next thing feels like a license plate, which they've done license plates before in Bambox. I don't get this. I'm going to have to... Ch I don't understand this one. I don't, I don't get it. CQB241, California license plate. I don't know. I don't get the reference. All right, well, I, I'm going to have to check the booklet for that. I know some people are probably watching this and being like, oh, obviously it's blah, 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 but we'll find out. And then art print. I believe this is the art print. Yep, this is a fan art collection, art print by Steve by Steve McGinnis. All right. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna have to say right now, this is by far my favorite art print I have ever gotten in anything, any box, honestly. Um, Bandbox does really awesome art prints. That's one of the other things I love in it. But this, this is some next level stuff. Look at this. First of all, Trick or Treat is another one of my favorite horror movies. I watch it every October because it's that friggin' good. But look at how good this looks. I love this character of Sam. Amazing. I'm glad they did Sam with the burlap sack on the head because I, I like Sam with the burlap sack on the head a lot more than like the Sam under it who's got like a pumpkin face. Um, but this is impressively good. That right there. If this was the only thing I got in the box, I'd be happy pretty much. This and the pin, all for it. That's great. Steve McGinnis, dude. Dude, that's phenomenal. That is, I'm in love with that. That's great. All right, and then I guess this last thing would be the autograph. Um, okay, this makes sense. Uh, I think I already have an autograph from this person that came from a horror block or something, but it's like a real small autograph. And it's PJ Souls from Halloween. John Carpenter's Halloween, that is. That's cool, though. Love me some horror autographs. Let's see if I can make sure I don't get too much glare. There you can see her getting creeped up on while she's on the phone. Cool. That's a good still to get signed, too. That's cool. I mean, honestly, you can't really go wrong with, like, getting actual horror autographs. I'm going to be happy no matter what. I'll put it on on my wall downstairs with my other horror autographs, but that print, dude. I just put it on top because I want to look at it. All right, so box is empty. Let's go through this. Uh, fan box horror, all right. So there were a few variants of the pins, and I'm glad I got the one that I did because actually the style of these is very simplistic, and for that simplistic style, I actually think that the common one looks a lot better. So this is uh, out of 250 of these and 50 of these made. So I'm actually happy I got this one. I like it more. If these looked better, I would probably 
want have wanted them, but I'm good. Um, so then we have, yeah, I got the common of the PJ Soul autograph, which the only difference is like no difference. It's just she signed it in red for 99 of them. 99 of them were signed in red, but it looks exactly the same. So it's kind of, that's whatever. Um, the key from 1408. Okay, it's a proper replica from Dalton Hotel. Okay. Oh, Christine. Okay. That's why I didn't know what, what that license plate was from. I've not seen the movie Christine or read the book Christine, but I know it's a Stephen King property, so most likely it's good. Um, I know people who really like it, so that's fine. That's cool. I mean, that's, a, that's a decent um, item. And then the... Okay. I don't see the difference in this. Okay. I don't know. I don't see the difference. So this is this is talking about the print. Um, and there's a variant and a and the common one. And I'm trying to find any sort of difference. Oh, there's a slight coloration difference in the lolly like the jagged lollipop that he's holding. Here, let me show you. I don't even know if you're going to be able to pick up on it with the... So if you can see, the only difference is this This is the common one that we got, and it's all orange, the lollipop. With the variant that there are 250 of, it's like candy corn colors. You see it's like a stripe of like lighter orange, darker orange, and like a yellowish right here. Which, that's such a subtle difference that I wouldn't even like think that's much of a difference. So honestly... I don't really care that I didn't get the special one on that because they look the same, basically. Uh, but they look phenomenal, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Then, uh, Rabbit and Red Sound signed download card by Joe Chinakis and the Brain Scan uh, patch. It's a fan art one, apparently, so that's fine. And then they have stuff about their one-up one -up system. Apparently, they did... Oh! They did a contest where you could have won a signed severed hand prop inscribed jigsaw and it was signed by Tobin Bell. Um, so there you go. You can see it right there, which is cool. Um, that's great, actually. And Tobin Bell, especially right now, uh, the jigsaw movie, I think it's out at the moment. I think it is out. Um, Tobin Bell's very... Um, topical because of that coming out but also I think Tobin Bell's a really good actor even before he was in uh, the Saw films although that's what he's obviously known for but um, I'm not all that broke up that I couldn't get something like this because I actually met Tobin Bell recently super nice guy got him to sign a really cool still from Saw movie and he's awesome and that autograph is awesome so anyway this is uh this is good I mean like I said like I cannot say enough about how amazing this is best art print ever this is cool always good to just get an autograph this is cool if you're a fan of christine i haven't seen it yet so maybe i will be i don't know we'll see the rabbit and red thing is if you want to read a book it's a free download that's cool the brain scan thing patches i can do without patches the replica i thought was weak because just because i don't even hear anything about 1408 as a property i think you should have just done the shining instead just my opinion, but I'm sure, I mean, maybe someone liked this. I don't know. I'm not big on that. And then the pin was really good. Um, I liked it. So overall, I like it. This is a good box. Uh, I'm going to keep trucking with this. I was so glad when they announced the horror boxes for BAM because BAM is awesome in the first place. And then them taking on horror made me crazy excited. Oh, actually, I just realized I'm wearing a trick-or-treat shirt. That's perfect. Um you know how you forget all the time like what you're actually wearing shirt wise and you can put the print next to the shirt it looks very similar this is amazing cool thank you so much and steve mcginnis dude i cannot say enough about that guy right now mm. bam box you're killing it you're doing a great job everyone out there thank you for checking out this unboxing like i said the regular bam box unboxing will be delayed most likely but so i apologize for that but look for the video when it comes out Anyway, thank you so much, and everyone, until next time, keep it brutal.